All right, well, hey everyone, how's it going? Sean here with another Genitree Solar video, and in this video, we are going to calibrate an inverter that is a Genitree Solar inverter. Before we get into that, 833 Genitree, toll free Monday through Friday, 9 to 4 Eastern, genitreesolar.com, and you can join our community at forums.genitreesolar.com. So I have here a prototype 12,000 watt Genetry Solar Inverter. Now I know it's sideways, unfortunately this inverter is so big I can't get the camera on the other side. <laughs> so uh, yeah, uh, a little awkward, but I'm gonna take you through the steps on calibrating your inverter. Now this is something you should do the very first thing you do when you get your inverter. You wanna calibrate it. There's all sorts of different temperature changes, elevation, etc. It can all have an effect on the inverter. We also have a little bit of output swing or variance, and that happens with all inverters. As they heat up, uh, as the load increases, things like that. Uh, the CPU tries to compensate for that the best it can, but it's not gonna be perfect. But anyways, we're gonna go ahead and calibrate this. Now, this 12,000 watt is already calibrated. It's been calibrated and it's been running fine. So. I'm just going to take you step by step on how to calibrate yours. Now you're going to need a decent quality multimeter. I would recommend uh, those kilowatt meters you plug into the wall. They're okay, uh, but I found that a multimeter is usually more accurate, uh, usually within a couple of volts. Uh, so I do recommend a good multimeter. Now this 12 kilowatt does not have any plugs on the front, and I have it wired directly to the control board. So I'm going to have to use my breaker panel to actually calibrate this, but. The very first thing that you want to do when you get the inverter is you want to actually check your output settings to make sure they are set where you want them so it doesn't throw everything off. So from the home screen, if you hit the left button once, then you hit the enter button, then you go down to AC output inverter, enter on that, you can see what your output settings are. Now this is what you're basically telling the inverter to do. An uncalibrated inverter is never going to meet these, so this is basically you telling the inverter you want 240 volts out at 60 hertz. Now you can ignore all the rest of the settings because we're just gonna be calibrating this right now. So once you have verified that you have, whatever you set it, you set it at 230, 240, 250, whatever you set it for, once you've got that set and your frequency, you want to back out and you want to go up to system. Now, towards the bottom on system is calibrate readings. Go ahead and open that up. Now, this 240 number that you see right here is a direct carryover from where the previous 240 was. And you can see you also have an AC LCD output. This is basically what the LCD is going to read to help you calculate what your actual output is. So you can calibrate your battery voltage, which mine is in fact calibrated. So it is sitting at 55.7 volts currently. You can calibrate your AC input. Now I don't have any AC input currently, but once you apply AC input for charge or pass through, you can calibrate that number, which I don't have anything right now. And then the magic number here is your AC out. Again, right now the CPU is pushing for 240 volts. Do we have 240 volts? Well, let's find out. I can already tell you that I don't because I calibrate mine slightly higher. That's definitely not 15 volts or else the lights wouldn't be in. There we go, we're at 243 on the AC output voltage. So. When you have your multimeter and you're running it, you can come down to the AC out. You hit enter on that. Let's bring this back into screen. Okay, that will start flashing. Now the 67 actually represents steps. These are steps over nominal. Sid, will, if he really needs to, he'll get into the technicalities as far as steps, but basically we're stepping up and stepping down from a table. And right now I've got mine currently set to 67 steps above zero. And that is giving us 243 volts. So if I were to bring this down, let's say, down a couple of steps, you can see the voltage is actually dropping on the inverter. Now I don't want to do that. I'm going to keep mine up 
uh, like I said, I always like to keep mine just a little bit higher. That's just a personal preference. And of course, you want to set your AC LCD out. This is a little bit high. This will move around a little bit. It's not 100%. Again, with heat cycles, temperature changes, load, and stuff like that, it can move around a little bit. So I just set my AC LCD to match this number here so I know exactly what the output is. And again, it can move around a little bit, so just keep that in mind. You're never going to see any huge swings unless your battery voltage drops, your surge loads are too high, or anything else like that. It does a pretty good job of staying in line with what you want. So once you have this calibrated and you're done, go to finish, and you are all set. So there you have it. That's how you calibrate a Genetry Solar Inverter. Hopefully this video has been helpful. It's very easy to calibrate an inverter to your battery, to your output, etc. So if you have any more questions, of course, comment below. A33 Genetry. You can email us on the website, etc. Thanks again for all of your support, and take care.